everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this really nice tea bag holder. Um, it's very easy to do. You won't need that much of a paper to do this. And you can decorate it, of course, as you wish. So let me open it. I've put a little ribbon here. And, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I've decided to put only four in here. Obviously, you would have some space to put something else, uh, to put another uh, piece and put more uh, tea um, tea bags in there. But I thought that what I might put something else, like maybe a little candy or something. I don't know yet. I wanted to save myself a little space. So in order to do this, again, you won't need much. It's just paper, a little piece of ribbon, and I would use hot glue and double-sided tape that is really stiff. You need something that's gonna hold on really well. Okay, so this is it. That's the back of it. It's really easy. So I prepared myself a little cheat sheet uh, to tell you what sizes you will need. I'm gonna give you these measurements in inches for you guys that do this, um, in, in inches because it, it's going to be a little different if you do it in centimeters but you can make a little bigger because it's really qu it's quite snug in there okay so you can obviously do something slightly bigger than the measurements I'm giving you and of course you can use uh, other things than tea bags you could use just cards or a, it could be a gift card holder or money holder um, that you want to put in here so it could be for different uses so for the main base here, I have used a paper that is seven inches by three and a quarter, okay? And we're gonna do the scoring after. So seven by three and a quarter. Then you will have another piece that will be six and a half by six and a half. It's gonna be a square piece, six and a half by six and a half. And the last one is gonna be a little shorter, as you can see here, I've done mine shorter. You don't have to do this. They can be all the same size. But if you want to make it look like mine, you're going to make it just slightly smaller. This one is going to be six and a half by six, not completely a square. Okay, so now we're going to do the scoring and we're going to start by the base. So I would consider using a heavy cardstock for this. So it will be sturdier and nicer. So for the scoring of the base, it's going to be very easy. So again, seven by three and a quarter, and you're going to make two score lines. So I'm going to use this because I like uh, using this score, but you can use a score pal or whatever you have home. And um, this is going to be the right side, so I'm going to put it my way, okay? I'm going to do the scores, but then I'm going to fold it this way. So my first score is going to be at three inches. And my second score is going to be at four inches. If you would do this in centimeters, I use about two centimeters in the middle. It doesn't match perfectly, so it's hard to give you this, this, the, the sizes in metrics and in imperial because it's really not easy. All right. So now I'm going to be able to fold it. And that's done. Okay, what you can do, and what I have done in here, is that I've rounded the corners a little bit, so you don't have to. I just think it's kind of nicer, and also it also protects your, um, your piece from wear and tear when the angles here, the corners, are rounded. It avoids, you know, all, um, usually the corners get um, damaged very quickly, so that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to use my crocodile here. I'm going to use the f uh, one quarter to make small ones. All right, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. My camera just shut down, and it's plugged in, so there's really no reason. So I we're going to be able to continue. So the only thing you didn't see me do is just round the, you know, cut the other corners here, and that's it. So now I'm going to take my bigger square, my square, which is six and a half by six and a half. And again, we're going to do some scoring. So again, I'm taking this one here. And for the first scores, uh, score lines, we're going to do two score lines, one at three inches and one at six inches. So one at three. 
and one at six inches. There you go. And we're going to be left here with normally, well, half an inch. All right. So once this is done, we're going to turn it around and we're going to score. Okay. So we've scored this way. I hope the camera will be able to pick it on. We're going to, we're going to turn it just once and we're going to score at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters and then three and three quarters. I've tried to make something easy. Okay, that's done. So again, your paper is six and a half by six and a half. First big lines, three and six, and you're left with about half an inch here. And then you turn it just once, two and three quarters, and three and three quarters. Okay, so we're going to do our marks here. So, I don't know, this is going to be the outside, okay? My big polka dots are going to be in the inside. We're not going to do any cutting. This is the, this little part here is going to go inside and this is what is going to make our pockets. Actually here, we're going to have two pockets, okay? I'm just going to trim the excess off. I didn't probably cut it or do my score lines perfectly, so I'm just going to make this really look nicer. All right, this outer page here. I think it should be good now. Yep, all right. And I'm going to be able now to take all of these marks away because it's going to be the outside of my paper. I was just willing to make things clear for you, but now I don't need it anymore. And this could be your template. If you want to do many of these, it could be a very easy template. And we're going to, again, fold this flap and we're going to use our double-sided tape here. So I'm going to use my ATG gun. If you have this red tape, I would consider using it because it's, you know, it's six is six better. That's the more powerful one that I know. I'm going to go up here and really try to go up to the edge there to your fold. There you go. And then fold it like this. I'm going to take this little piece off. That's good. And now we're going to, we already pre-fold. We're going to just mark them a little better here. And we've got our two pockets. All right. But now what we're going to do is we're going to, we will do these little things here that I've done. Uh, we'll do that a little later because I would like to align them very well with my two other pockets. So I'm going to take my other sheet of paper. So remember, this one is six and a half by six. Okay. So uh, we're going to have to score again. And on this side where you have the six inches, so it should be this one. I've got six inches here. We're going to score at two and a half. Whoops, we're going to score at two and a half. And we're going to score at three and a half. Good. Now we're going to score. So that's what we have done here. I'm going to take my pencil marks away again. And we're going to turn it just once and we're going to score at three inches like we did before. And we're going to score at six inches. There you go. And that's it for the scores. Okay. So now again, I'm going to fold it this way.
you if you want to use a bone folder to do this you can of course this is going to be our other flap that's good let me see I don't have my uh, bone folder do I have my bone folder it keeps on disappearing on my table I should clean up my table I will I had so many projects actually today on my table and needed things to dry a little bit that it's a bit of a mess I'm sorry for this hopefully you don't see it all all right so again we're going to put some glue on this flap here or double-sided tape I think I'm a bit too close. Let me go zoom out a little bit. There you go. Trying to come very close to my score line. Right. And again. Close it shut really, really, really well. I'm going to take this one away now. And I would use right now, again, if you have this red tape, I would use it. Or you can also use hot glue. That's what I'm going to use today. And I'm going to fold. I need to cut again. Trim out a little bit of the excess here. That just me. Maybe you won't have to do this. All right. I'm going to fold it really well here. You can use the back of the spoon if you want to. If you don't have any bone folder, that'll do the trick. There you go. All right. And this is going to go in here. Okay, we could have made our score lines a little smaller, but only it's gonna it's gonna fit perfectly, and it's just a little bit shorter just to make it nice. So we're gonna take their base that we have done before, which is here. There's no wrong or bad side. I just think this one is, yeah, I think this one is nicer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my bigger of the two, which is this one, and I'm gonna try. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the, the little space here to grab it, you know, these little holes. I'm going to do it right now. So I'm going to use my hole punch. And I'm going to try to, I'm not sure it's going to really go through both of them. But if it doesn't, I'm going to show you how I do it. So I just eyeball it. I really try to have my punch in the middle here. And I'm not going all the way through. I'm just kind of staying a bit in the middle here. Maybe you can see it. Hope you can see it. And I'm going to punch this because it's heavy cardstock and I already have two layers. So just going to take it off. Then I'm going to align my first paper with the other one underneath. And I'm going to go, because I can see through, it's going to be perfectly aligned. And I'm going to be able to go through my other piece. So you see my two pieces are completely aligned now and it's going to work perfectly. What you're going to do, you're going to do the same thing with the other piece, your other pockets. This is your guideline. There you go. And again, they're perfectly aligned. All right. And now, again, my bigger one is this one so I'm going to put some hot glue in here make sure that hot glue I like hot glue here because it's really going to make things stay in place I don't have this red tape any longer I should buy some it's a it's more expensive this red tape is more expensive but it is very nice and I think very useful when you are making boxes or things like we're doing right now that's good enough and I'm going to align this perfectly pressing down and that's good now I'm going to do the same thing with my smaller piece I'm 
and I'm being generous here, not too much. I don't want to go too close from the edge. And again, I'm going to try to center it without putting my head in the way. And there you go. Now, while this is drying, I'm going to prepare, and I might use this time some red or pink ribbon. And I'm going to be generous so I have enough space to make a nice little bow. So I'm going to cut it right here. And also, I'm having, I do have all these nice little embellishments and tags I could use here. It's more cactus-like. They're just gorgeous. I love these. Um, it's called Deco Time. Um, there are cutouts. You've got vellum as well. You've got so many nice things in here. Images. Uh, let me see. With the pink, what could I use? I like this heart. Mm. It could be used for a happy birthday, but I think I'm going to keep this one for something else. Oh, I like this. It's hard to know. These are too big. These are way too big. I think I'm going to use the first one I have seen here. I'm going to use this one, actually. I really like it. And since it's flowers, I think it's going to match perfectly. So I'm going to use this one on top. And for my background, I may, I think I'm going to use it this way, actually. There's a little something there. Let me see. What is it? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Okay. Maybe a pencil mark, too. All right. So that's for the front. And I still need something for the back. And I think I'm going to use the purple flower. And I'm going to glue it down with my hot glue so it's going to really stay in place without any problem. So let me see. Yeah, it's about the same size here. Alright, I'm going to stick it in the middle. Yep, so that's going to be my back, so I'm going to use this flower. A bit of hot glue. And stick it right there. I think I'm a bit too far now. There you go. Okay. And for the front, the same thing. I think it's pretty well centered. Again, hot glue. You don't need to stick your um, your ribbon all the way. This is going to be plenty enough. And this one just here. And I think I'm going to use a little bit of varnish to make it pop out a little bit. I like when I mix glossy and matte images. But see how nice this is. Also, when you put some glossy varnish on top, it make it more. It makes it more dimensional, and you really don't need more. And that's it. I could again put another pocket inside, but you could also put maybe a little gift that you glue down. That's what I was thinking. Maybe put a little chocolate that would glue down here. I don't have any left. I think I ate all of the chocolates I had, but I like uh, bringing something else to somebody, you know, a little chocolate with a tea. I think it's just a good idea. So now let me take my tea bags out. Where did I put the other one? And show you how it works. Okay, I think they are normally standard tea bag sides, and they, f you know, they fit in here just perfectly. You don't need to press hard. They're just snug in there. All right, and still have another one. Now this one is a bit smaller, but it's okay. And there you go. You've got your tea bags. You know, if you have a chocolate with some uh, um, paper foil on, on, 
around it, you can glue it down with just a little bit of glue and you're going to have a nice little gift having a chocolate and tea for a friend. Make a nice bow and there you go. That's the back, that's the front. And this glue, actually, I'm just going to show you that quickly. Um, I need to come a little closer. This glue actually is a great glue because it is also, when it dries, it's glossy. So I'm going to use this as my varnish. And I've got a big tip, which is very convenient for big areas like this. And it's going to take yeah a few minutes to dry. And I can go over it if I want to have a thicker, um, a thicker application. But there you go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's glossy. I would do the same on the back, probably. But how easy was this? And it was done really in minutes. And it's a nice little gift to do something to give to a friend. Or you can use this for craft fairs. And it's not going to be expensive because tea bags are so cheap as well. You buy them by bulk. You don't have, you don't even have, really need to buy a big brand. But look at that. How nice and your little chocolate in between. There you go. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Please don't forget, give me some thumbs up because that's important. And if you have any questions or if you just want to leave some comments, please leave them below. And also share on social medias and subscribe without forgetting to hit the bell to get all the notifications. And for the new subscribers, I do make the same videos in English and in French the day after. So just pass that one because you will see that it's the same video, but it's just in French. Because um, that's also what I am, French. And I, because I love English, I wanted to do that in both languages. So yes, and also please share on social, me social medias like Pinterest and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. That would help my channel greatly. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.